Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Arden Hall and today we are doing the makeup and books tag. If you're new here, hi, hello. We talk about books on my channel and if that's something you like, click the subscribe button. Also, hi to my subscribers who have been here before. Hello, I hope you're doing great. In the makeup and book tag, you get book related questions that you have to answer and then do your makeup. Today, I am going to be doing my makeup based on the book that I'm currently reading, which is Chasing Red by Isabel Ronan. Um, so we have some pinks, some uh, oranges, yellows and reds, which red. <laughs> I already have that. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited. Let's get started. So the first question is primer. Pick a book that left a lasting impression. Now, this is going to be my favorite, all-time favorite book ever. You're going to keep hearing about it on my channel. I reread it three times. Uh, it's not as many times as I've reread The Hunger Games, but I've reread it three times and I loved it just as much, even more actually. And that book is called A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Maas. This is the second book in A Court of Thorns and Roses series. A lot of people really hate it on book two, but a lot of people really love it. I am personally on the really love it side. So that was primer. Question number two is foundation. Pick your favorite first book in a series. Okay, so I had trouble choosing this one. I wanted to choose books that I don't often talk about. And this one's going to be very controversial because as I've said in probably a lot of my videos, I hate this series with a passion. But the reason why I hate it is because the last book ruined it for me. You know how Game of Thrones last season ruined all of the seasons? Like you can't even rewatch it and enjoy it anymore? Well, for some people. But that's how this series was for me. The last book was so, so, so bad that it ruined everything. I started writing fanfiction on fanfiction.net because of this trilogy, this series, whatever you want to call it. I started writing fanfiction because of it. I loved it so much. It was my everything at the time. So I really do feel like I have to mention it because I don't mention it often. Uh, and that book is Divergent by Veronica Roth. Um, I also had the Slovenian edition. Now, I wouldn't normally mention it. I have so many other better uh, first books in a series, but I wanted to pick something that I wouldn't normally pick all the time in all my videos. I would. I don't want to be predictable, but uh, yeah, Divergent. I just... I hated Allegiant so, so, so much. I really, really hated it. Um, I loved Divergent. I, I think I even enjoyed Insurgent a lot more, which is an unpopular opinion, but Allegiant just went downhill for me. Well, I just ran out of foundation. That's good. I've been breaking out recently and I don't need any more foundation. I don't need my clogged pores. Anyway, I hated Allegiant with a passion. Uh, when I first started making videos on YouTube, I even made <laughs> made an Allegiant review. Maybe I'll post mo my old videos up on my channel. It's just that they have copyrighted music on it. That's why I don't want to even react to those because I don't want to get like, it's not that I'm monetized, but I just don't want to, you know, post them because they have copyrighted music and I'm kind of over that, I guess. And I'm so cringy as well. Like, you don't want to see my old videos. Anyway, I made an Allegiant review and I hated it so much. At the time I rated it three stars, but if I reread it now, I would give it probably two stars. If I don't like a book, I'll give it three stars unless I really, really hated it. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, what was I saying? I keep forgetting makeup and um, <laughs> YouTube is hard. <laughs> makeup and talking. I gave Allegiant three stars at the time, but I probably would give it two stars now. Or maybe not. Maybe if I reread it, I probably wouldn't hate it as much. I just don't want to get through it. I'm not even... It's just that I'm not really interested in that series anymore. Like, I'm done. By the way, can we talk about the fact that the movie wasn't even released? Like, the Allegiant part... Was it part two? They Then they wanted to make a uh, TV show. But the actors didn't want to be a part of it. And so... Yeah, that was ruined. It's just like with Percy Jackson. Like, they want to ruin everything. The books already have a fan base. And a lot of those people want to see what's in the books to be in the movies. If they made changes that are better, 
then that would be fine. But those, those changes were just worse. Concealer. Next one. Pick a character you wish you could get rid of. I had so much trouble picking one. Because, again, I don't want to be predictable. But uh, I'm going to get so much hate for this. Or probably not. But I read this series uh, a few years ago. And I've only read the first and second book. And I enjoyed it. But I never picked it up again. Because I just, I'm not interested in it anymore. On the day of filming this video, there was an announcement made that this book that I'm currently talking about that I'm not interested in rereading or reading or picking up again is actually becoming either a movie or a TV show on Netflix but leave it up to me to jinx myself now I'll definitely have to reread it because why not I mean if it's becoming a movie or a show yeah the same happened with Shadow and Bone I said I'm never gonna pick it up again but then it's it's becoming a show and now I have to read it don't I <laughs> so yeah enjoy the video the character that I chose that I want to get rid of is the main character in the selection series by Kira Cass America Singer is annoying that's all I have to say I don't remember much but I remember that she's so whiny and annoying I don't want to pick this book up again or this I don't want to reread this series because I know that I'm probably gonna hate it and it's not my cup of tea so here we are <laughs> If we weren't in quarantine or, you know, isolating, I would have to go uh, shopping for makeup because I am running out. I'm really running, running out. So I'm just, I usually put concealer here. I just put a little amount and this concealer is already dried out. It's like, I'm, I already ran out. It's not my favorite concealer. It's actually from Essence. It's cheap but it's fine. It just dries me out so much and <sighs> makes me look cakey, but I don't have anything else, so. Powder. Pick your favorite last book in a series. So this is gonna be predictable, but I couldn't help myself because I, I hold so much love for this book. I hold so much love for this series, this trilogy by Cassandra Clare, and that is the Infernal Devices. So I chose Clockwork Princess for this one. Oh, I can't touch my face. So I chose Clockwork Princess for this one. And Clockwork Princess is by far my favorite because it has, if a, a trilogy works, only if it has a good ending. For example, let's look at Divergent. Uh, it had a bad ending. Let's look at Mockingjay. I like it because it had a good ending to me. A lot of people hate it because it had a bad ending and then that's why they hated The Hunger Games. So if a trilogy has a good ending, if it appeals to the reader, then they will probably, you know, like the entire series or the entire trilogy but if it doesn't you know it's gonna be hated and Clockwork Princess I think works one because it's so good with the characters the characters are amazing the character development uh the story the everything about it everything about this world works uh the characters still stay true to themselves they are the same characters in the first book that they are in the third, except with the character development. Like, for example, in the Fifth Wave trilogy. In the first book, you had very different characters than they were in the second book. I feel like when I read The Infinite Sea, uh, the characters were just very different people. The world didn't even seem the same, you know? Everything was so different, and that's why I couldn't... Yeah, um, it's like we were we were reading about very different characters, whereas in this trilogy, it just works. Everything, every character you know, stays the same, I guess. And I love the ending. So I'm rambling too much. But yeah, let's move on because I really need to do this. So I don't have powder. I don't normally use powder. My skin is dry with a combination of oil. And I should probably use powder. But uh, no, I get too dry and my psoriasis gets worse. So let's move on. A book that you think everyone should read. <laughs> You're gonna hate me for this, but this is a self-plug. I know, it's not very humble of me to plug my own book uh, as a book that everyone should read, but if you want to get to know me, if you want to get to know who I am as a person or what I struggled with, uh, I would definitely recommend for you to read Entangled on Wattpad. Yes, I have it printed out, okay? Don't judge me. Um, I would definitely recommend for you to read Entangled on Wattpad. Uh, it is a paid story, so you will have to pay, but you will also be supporting me. I don't usually do this unless... Um, I don't usually talk about my books. I don't really like talking about my books because I'm so shy and I don't want people to come to my channel and then see me plug anything. But 
the reason why I'm plugging Entangled right now is because that book is everything to me. It means everything to me. When I was going through my toughest times, I, I, all of those raw emotions I wrote in that book. Um, the main character, it is... <sighs> So there is a lot of mental health um, discussions. There is a lot of friendship drama. There is a lot of uh, slow burn romance and everything. But most importantly, there is character development. There is character growth. Uh, there is a positive, positive message to be taken from Entangled. And I am so proud of that book. Sure, it's not written the best, but the story, the message, the characters, what they go through, I just, I find it so important. And I really, really would love if more people would read it and talk to me about it. Because there is also something very interesting in that book. Every person, you know, like I said in one of my previous videos, that reading is subjective. You liking a story depends on various factors, like your reading environment, your previous experiences, your outlook on life, uh, what you went through, like what you were surrounded with, uh, your reading mood, everything. Like there are so many factors that we're not aware of. I am so interested and the reason why that works with my book is that everybody who reads this book, everybody has like a different outlook. Some people relate to the main character, other people stand uh, the, the best friend, other people agree with the male main, main character. So you know, it's just everybody's experiences and different views on life just clash here and it's so fun to read and see other people's look um, into what who was right and who was wrong and there's so much miscommunication in this book and there's so much discussion that comes up that I just I really enjoy and love and um I personally love all of the characters because every part of me I put in those in that story or my personal experiences I put in that story uh in some way or another and oh, I could talk about this book for ages I'm so sorry you probably I'm, I'm talking your ears off right now <laughs> but um yeah what I want to say I just want to conclude this friend by saying that I love every single character and I agree with everyone I love how the main character is flawed I love how the um, best friend is flawed and the main male character is flawed and everybody's flawed um, I agree with the main character sometimes and I disagree with the main character sometimes and I just I love that we're so different but at the same time even if I disagree I understand uh, the reasons behind those actions even if I can see that they're not always, you know, the right thing to do. I just, yeah, sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna stop now. Let's move on to eyebrows. Oh yeah, I should do my eyebrows now. <laughs> Entangled is in paid stories program and you have to pay for it. But, but if you don't want to pay, uh, there is a feature available in some countries where you don't have to pay with money, but you can watch ads to earn three coins per day. You can earn those coins to unlock chapters and to you know, read and finish reading and, you know, to unlock chapters and read those books. But yeah, I would really, 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 really be grateful if you decide to support me. That would be so amazing. Like, I don't even have words. Um, I know I'm not the best writer. I never claim to be. I, most of my Wattpad books are first drafts or just the first, second, and third drafts that I don't even have an editor. I don't, I just go through, I, my main focus is the story. I want to have, I want to have a positive message and I want to speak out about the things that I'm passionate about. But yeah, I, <laughs> that's all I want to say. I'm sorry. Next question is eyeshadow. Pick a book that has your favorite colors on the cover. <sighs> you guys, I chose Goddess by Josephine Angelini. I love these colors. Purple is my favorite color. I also love this turquoise blue color. I Everything about this cover, all the colors on this cover are my favorite. I If there is a book that completely sums up what I'm about, it's this cover. As I said, I'm doing eyeshadow look based on Chasing Red. I'm not the best at makeup. So don't even come at me. It probably won't look good, but I'll try to make it my best.
why that took me like 10 minutes to do which is longer than it would normally take me but it's fine next question is eyeliner pick a dark and mysterious book now i'm not gonna lie like i really am not gonna lie I had trouble picking a dark and mysterious book because I don't usually read dark books and I don't usually read thrillers or mysteries or whatever. I could talk about uh, the therapy that I read last month, but I'm not going to do that because I already talked about it last month. The book that I will choose, however, is a book that I gave to my sister for her birthday. And it's called Sister, Sister by Sue Fortin. Now, I don't know much about this book, but I really want to read you the blurb. So that's what I'm going to do. Alice, beautiful, kind, manipulative, liar. Claire, intelligent, loyal, paranoid, jealous. Claire thinks Alice is a manipulative liar who is trying to steal her life. Alice thinks Claire is jealous of her long lost return and place in her family. One of them is telling the truth. Two sisters, one truth. I this is a mystery and I believe it's gonna be dark. Anya, my sister, says that it made her paranoid and I really want to read this book now. Um, I'll probably put it on my uh, TBR for next month because it's about time that I read it. I chose it b because of the title Sister Sister. Okay, so I have to do my eyeliner now. Let's move on to mascara. Pick a long book. Like I said, I tried to not be predictable, uh, but I still had to choose this book because this is probably the longest book that I read. Yes, I think this might be the longest book that I read in my life. <laughs> and that is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Um, if I wanted to choose Air of Fire by Cassandra Clare, but I already have a Cassandra Clare book. I don't have a J.K. Rowling book. So yeah, let's do the mascara thing. Now, this is an old mascara. I don't know how it's gonna work. I mean, it's not that old. I've been using it all the time, but we'll see. I, I, I'm sorry, I keep moving my mirror, but I just, I need to see what I'm doing. But yeah, Harry Potter has been the longest book I've read so far. Um, or at least... You know, I checked Air of Fire, it had 700 and something pages, and then the other book that it was really long was Outlander, but it had like, what, 803 pages? I'm not sure. That one has 870, so close to 900. Uh, and then this year, I'm also going to read Winter by uh, Marissa Meyer, which has 820 something pages. Oh no, I looked up. Great. So... You know, I'm gonna be reading big books, but we like big books and we cannot lie. Actually, we're intimidated by big books, and that is truth, only facts. I don't usually do my mascara that much, like I only put a little bit on, because my eyelashes are already long enough, but... I don't know, it's not working, and now it's getting clumpy, and I don't like that. <sighs> mm. And it's gonna be a nightmare to take off. Whatever. Horrible. Horrible. Ew. They're so clumpy. I need to get a new mascara. I swear to God. How many times am I gonna say that? Okay, next one is blush. I don't actually use blush, so I'm not gonna eat, do it today. But blush. Pick a book that had some cringe-worthy romance. <laughs> If you watch my April wrap-up, you will know. Cringe-worthy romance. Ew. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. The main character kissed a girl that his grandpa kissed. It was the same girl was his grandpa's love interest and it was his. If you read this book, you probably know. If you watch the movie, you probably know. But, ugh. <laughs> I, that, I hated. Hated it. I don't know. I, it was so cringy. It was gross. It, I, I'm sorry. I couldn't get through that. So yeah, cringeworthy romance. Let's move on to highlighter. Pick a book that brightened your day. 
I had a lot of trouble choosing this one. I had so much trouble coming up with a book that brightened my day. I initially wanted to choose Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson, but that book is sad. It's kind of like The Fault in Our Stars, but written by a woman. <laughs> um, and um, instead of a love interest, it's fa a family member. So you're going to cry. So I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to choose Anna and the French Kiss because that book a lot of people hate. Uh, I didn't want to choose like a you know, a series. I just wanted to do a standalone book. And then I didn't like the romance in To All the Boys I've Loved Before. And I hated um, the romance in uh, The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. So I chose a book that I always choose when I'm talking about books that make me smile. And that is Texture by Lindsay Summers. I'm sorry. Yeah, I have eyeliner here. I'm sorry. This book, I talk about it a lot. I kind of my makeup kind of matches but I talk about this book a lot and that is because it is so worthy to over read um if you want to read it for free it's on Wattpad under the name the cell phone swap uh this is the published version uh textrovert I love I think I prefer a Wattpad version just because there is one scene in that book that I just uh, I, I it's my favorite scene that got cut in this published version but I do recommend it if you want to read it it's such an easy read such a mood lifter you will enjoy it I promise you it's an amazing read it makes me smile it brightens my day it's incredible <laughs> and I won't stop talking about it by the way I met the author and this is a signed edition I keep talking about my signed editions but I'm so proud of them and I love Lindsay so much she's amazing and uh yeah textrovert read it really I warmly recommend it <laughs> Time to do my highlighter. This is legit, literally my favorite part. Although I usually do contour first and then highlighter, but we're trying something new today, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> highlighter. I usually bring it down here because um, I watched a makeup, a professional makeup artist, and he said that doing this doesn't work you need to follow where the light naturally hits you and it's usually like that down uh so yeah it makes you look a lot more glowy and i agree but then i also put some here so it's like you're doing an l shape you see <laughs> I, I shouldn't be giving you makeup tutorials i'm so bad at makeup <laughs> like my makeup every single makeup look that i do is the same yeah i'm changing my brush that one is for, uh, for a more intense glow and then here i do something that is like, ah, pretty easy. <laughs> I'm, right now, I just got flashbacks, you know, in Harry Potter when the, when the pixies or whatever, what are they, fairies? When they go and Fleur de la Cour or whatever her name is, and in the movie they go, ah, <laughs> when they enter Hogwarts, I'm sorry. It's in the God of the Fire if you want to watch it. Oh, ah. <laughs> I, I drank coffee today if you, if you haven't picked up on it yet i drank coffee i drink coffee every day i drink the famous tiktok coffee and it's so good oh i have it here i still have it hey hi i forgot about it mm. Mm -mm -mm. we love coffee how much highlighter am i gonna put on my my makeup is gonna look so cakey just because i put on so much highlighter like literally i don't even need it and yet i put it on anyway it's fine. Like, I'm not going anywhere. It's gonna be cakey. My skin is always cakey just because I have dry skin and it looks cakey. But we don't care. The next question is, lips, uh, your favorite book, Kiss. I This is the last book that I finished reading. So you're gonna hear about it or you already heard about it in my April TBR or uh, April wrap up. I'm sorry. Uh, the Golden Lily. I love the kiss that's in this book. I tried to to pick something else. I tried so many. I tried picking so many other books. I tried coming up with a different book, but I wanted to do something fresh, a kiss that I remember. And this one was, ah, yes, yes, yes. I love it. Mm, I, my, yeah, it's, it brightened my day. <laughs> okay, is that too dark? Is it? But it matches. I and we're going with it. I don't have any other red lipstick. So next question is contour. What book surprised you with how much depth it had? I had to mention it. I know I, I want it to be unpredictable, but yet um, here I am being predictable. If you follow my channel, if you watch my videos, you you know you know about this book. Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson. This is the book that really surprised me. I wanted a 
an easy summer read. I didn't expect to be pulled into a whirlwind of emotions. There is so much that goes into these books. Like there is so much that happens. The main character can be whiny sometimes. I did get a bit annoyed, but it's fine, you know? Like I just, I love this book. I really, really do. And that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed. Maybe I should do this more often. Recreate a makeup look based on a book that I'm currently reading. So this is Chasing Red. I'm gonna show you pictures afterwards. But uh, yeah, I, I think I did good. Focus. Focus on me. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Um, yeah, it looks good. So I know this video is done, but as a reading update, I'm on page 60 of Chasing Red. I tried reading some more after the read with me video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click the like button, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell to keep yourself notified. And if you're not new here, if you are a frequent watcher, I guess, uh, hi, please comment down below. Let me know what you think. If I should do more of these videos, if you like them, if this is something you might want to see more often uh yes let me know and if you do this tag yourself please send it to me because i would really want to see your makeup look love you Mwah. bye <laughs>